This is our Forex blog for August 12th, 2013, and I like to show our software in action most days. Uh, I don't uh, post it every day because some days I'm you know, spending too much time working on automated systems and our signals. Um, however, I would like to you know, just show you one of what I consider the easier ways of trading. Uh, these are our currency indexes, which show you what each individual currency is doing. I'm only showing the top four. There's also the Swiss, the um, CAD, Australian, and New Zealand. And basically, in a nutshell, you want to be buying the strongest currencies versus the weak. You can see here that the dollar is above its hourly moving average here, breaks above its point of control the previous day. The point of control is where most traders have positions for that previous day. And above that, it tends to go up. Below that, it tends to go down. You can see it also, in the end, acted as a support level all day. When a currency you know, breaks out uh, above its highest high of the day, when it finds support at the hourly moving average right here, uh, it tends to be one that you want to be buying. Now, you don't want to buy the dollar versus uh, the euro at that time because uh, they're both going up at the same time. But you certainly can trade it against a currency made that's maybe underneath its hourly, such as the yen until uh, 9 o'clock when it breaks out and 9 o'clock you can see the dollars you know formed a triple top right here. It gives you a wealth of information you can't get from uh, just looking at an individual currency chart. So let's take a look at when the dollar was uh, exploding up and the, and the yen was weak. It's very likely uh, to be looking for buys at a little bit before 3 uh, in the uh, dollar yen. It's a very high probability trade the dollar strong the yen's weak and you can see exactly on the uh, euro yen chart it's breaking out over the high here and it goes up uh, about 25 pips pulls back continues up again pulls back continues up again and you can see at nine o'clock the dollar lost its strength and the yen at that time was breaking out uh, as you can see right here on the yen chart the dollar's going down the yen's going up what does the dollar yen do it goes down it's that simple now, um, really, of these four charts, uh, when the dollar and the yen, or the dollar and the euro are both going up at the same time, it's a lower probability trade. Um, you can see the yen's breaking down underneath its hourly right here at 6. The dollar still looks like it's trying to trend up. It's above the previous day's high. Uh, another one that you could be going uh, in trading is selling the euro pound. So basically, we can look for uh, euro dollar buys around six. I'm sorry, euro dollar sells around six. Uh, we're looking for sells. It's a little bit before six, uh, but nonetheless, you wait for a little pullback right here, and you can see it fell uh, about 20 pips. If we look at the euro pound, we're looking for um, a sell on this one as well. It has a little bit of a pullback, and then it continues down. A little bit of a pullback and continues down. And you can see after 10 o'clock on the pound chart, it's probably reversing pretty violently. As we scroll back, you can see it broke from above to below its hourly. Um, and so when that happened, which one's the strongest? Well, the dollar has statistically the strongest strength. The pound is breaking down. The pound dollar is a great one to be selling coming up to 10. And you can see that's exactly what happened. This one has been trending down all day. 10 o'clock, it had a little bit of a, a two-wave pullback. If you drew your FIPS on, on this little wave, you probably have your FIP targets right here. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Oftentimes, two-wave pullbacks is an excellent place to be getting into a trade. You can see it went just a little bit above the 1.3 to 2 FIB target. It probably also uh, was near a FIB retracement of the whole uh, move. It went right to the 62% retracement. Uh, fell 20 pips, fell 15 pips, and you know, and then trend it down. Now, the perfect trades, the easiest trades, are uh, not even shown on these four charts. We'll put up uh, some other currencies. Swiss, see what that one's doing. And the dollar exploded up, maybe the Swiss was the weakest. Now, earlier on in this move up, the Swiss also broke out. You can clearly see the dollar is stronger than the Swiss. Uh, however, the Swiss is above its hourly moving average, and really, uh, it's kind of a 
a little bit lower odds trade to be buying both of them that appear to be trending up. So let's take a look at the other ones, CAD, Australian, and New Zealand. This one's not really exploding up, but it is above its hourly moving average. This is a little bit better trade in New Zealand. We'll put the Australian on there too. A lot of times they trend in the same direction. You can see it went from above to below its hourly moving average coming up to three. It was above the previous day's high, but it appears that it's you know, breaking down. It already broke down a little bit last night, went up a little, made a higher high, and it's kind of stalling here. Of these currencies, when they're both breaking down right here, uh, you can see coming up to two, uh, or a little bit after two, the dollar's exploding up. Both the Australian and New Zealand are breaking down. And so this makes a very high probability uh, sell in the uh, Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar coming up to two. When you get one currency going up and another currency is going down, you tend to get uh, 20 to 50 pip moves. Let's take a look at the New Zealand dollar. Again, coming up to two, uh, also falls 30 or 40 pips. Uh, let's count that 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50 pips. Um, now, for those of you who don't want to be analyzing multiple currencies and picking which ones to buy and sell, uh, we also are working on automated systems that uh, pretty much look at all the different currencies statistically, and you know it's not 100% winning uh, in their times of the day when it's kind of dead. This buy here failed. This buy here worked. This one here kind of went sideways. This one here went sideways. This one worked. This one worked. This one worked. This one worked. This one kind of went sideways. This one worked. This one worked. And the last trade, uh, because it's mainly a dead time of the day, uh, failed. You know, also keep in mind we're underneath the previous day's low in the euro dollar, and so therefore buys are much lower probability than sells. If you only took trend trades, you know the market's trending down in the euro dollar. Sell here, you can see it fell 30 pips, 20 pips. That's probably a 5 pip loss or 2 or 3 pip win, 15 pip win, 15, 20 pip win. Um, and so the signals um, that we're going to be releasing probably in a week or two should really help new traders. So that's it for today's blog. Uh, I just want to do a quick one to show you what we're working on and how to trade using one of our best tools, uh, the currency indexes. And by the way, these do work on all time frames. So while I'm showing a five minute chart, you could look at a, a 30 minute chart if you wanted to, uh, hourly, uh, four hours, daily, whatever time frame you want. Uh, and it lets you really see what that one individual currency is doing. You know, and you can see it's been trend, it's trending up for a couple of days, forms a double top, it's gone up too much, uh, it's at our statistical reversal areas. Uh, you might want to be selling that currency versus one that's either going up or likely to reverse and go up. Um, you know, some of the biggest wins are predicting when a currency is going up is done, it's about to reverse, like right here, and selling that versus a currency that's maybe either been going sideways and just broke out to the upside, or maybe has been going down and it's formed a double bottom, it's likely to go up. When you find one currency that goes down, it's very likely to go down and does, and another one's likely to go up and does. Uh, you know, off the longer term currency charts, you can oftentimes find, you know, 50 to 300 pip uh, swings.